You hate making Facebook ads, don't you? Don't you dread the thought of coming up with fresh ideas knowing how steep the competition is or endlessly scrolling through boring stock images that all seem to be the wrong size and off-brand? If you're like me, then you know that the challenge of creating the perfect Facebook campaign can be a grind. But at the same time, we all know that it's one of the most powerful marketing platforms out there and without it, our stuff may be doomed to go unnoticed, lost in a sea of digital content. Well, I just figured out a five-step process that uses AI to create killer campaigns fast. From understanding the competition to brainstorming concepts to creating images and more. At the end of the video, I'll show you a few ideas for creating video ads using AI as well. Welcome to Blazing Zebra, where it's my mission to help marketers and entrepreneurs by teaching practical AI skills that'll drive your profitability and business success. I've got a cheat sheet for this video and all my videos for my Patreon supporters. I'll put a link to that in the description below. All right, so we're gonna start in this handy tool, facebook.com slash ads slash library, where you can take a peek at uh, any of your competitors and what they are doing, what ads they're running, what ads they've previously run, the formats, etc. You wanna pick the ad category, all ads. Today, I'm going to look at a competitor of mine in the machine learning consulting space, Synaptic. Press go. We see all of their ads, current, past, formats, etc. Even some ideas about budgets running here. So I am going to select all of these with just Control, Command, All. And I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste this into ChatGPT. You might want to just put, hey, what can you glean from these ads and copy that in. I'm going to, however, hop into my PPC campaign creator tool. This is a free tool. I'll have a link to this in the description. This is a custom GPT that I created for building PPC campaigns. It's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And I'm just going to drop in all the stuff that we just copied from that Facebook library page. And I'm going to hit run. You can see here it's generating a few PPC campaign ideas. These are good for both Google ads as well as Facebook ads or any sort of pay-per-click advertising. However, we're going to be focusing on Facebook ads primarily in this video. Uh, these all look interesting. I think uh, number one is the most interesting to me right now. So I just typed in number one looks good and it's going to start fleshing that out for us. Here it's listed all of the different um, ICPs, ideal customer profiles. I'm going to say that number two is most appropriate. It's now listing all the demographics and behaviors. This, this will be exactly what you use for your targeting inside of Facebook. Now we're going to move on with some keyword ideas. These are good keyword ideas, very helpful in search marketing, but these can also be used in targeting for Facebook ads as well. This is going to offer to start creating ad copy for Google ads. I'm going to say, let's skip this and move just to the Facebook ads. This should have the 40 character headline and the 125 character description. There's all different types of Facebook ads. I have um, that all in the cheat sheet, all the different specifications, which can be helpful here. And now this process even moves forward with creating landing pages, etc. But since we're focused Focusing on just the ads. I'm going to stop right there because this is pretty helpful with all of our targeting and copy, but definitely feel free to check out my PPC campaign creator. There's a lot more there that we're going to uh, not get into today. <laughs> what we are going to get into today is creating the images for these ads. So back from this page here in uh, the ads library section of Facebook, it has all these different images. So I just grabbed a screenshot of these just like this. I'm going to drop that screenshot into ChatGPT, and here's where I'm going to use this following prompt. Can you suggest several detailed prompts I can use in mid-journey to create images exactly like these? Please focus solely on the image, no mention of logos, company, brand, copy, etc. I'm not looking for your creativity. Can you please add the styles and lighting information to these prompts? Examples for those include photorealistic, cinematic lighting, etc. Please generate prompts that would seek to recreate these images as they are without embellishment. So it took me a lot of trial and error to come up with this prompt, uh, and I hope it helps you. Uh, these are a lot of the different things that uh, ChatGPT kind of goes sideways when it's creating mid-journey prompts from an image. So here we go. Again, those are the images straight from a competitor. And these are the mid-journey prompts for recreating similar images. Now I've dropped those into mid-journey. If you're unfamiliar with mid-journey, it runs through Discord. And what you need to do is uh, go to midjourney.com, sign up for their beta, and then get into Discord. You can do a free version as well as a paid version. But all you need to do now is do this slash, imagine, 
And I'm gonna copy and paste this prompt in here. You can see I've tested this before. It came up with very, very similar images uh, to what my competitors were using. So now we grab these images. First of all, we select the image that we want. I thought this first one was really great, so I clicked U1, which upscaled that into this image here, which we can click on and download onto the desktop. Now I'm popping into Canva. If you haven't used Canva, it's an amazing tool, highly suggested. I used to mess around with Photoshop quite a bit, but since I'm not a designer day in and day out, that was quite uh, challenging. So I just grabbed this. I wanna start with a Facebook news feed, single image. I copy that into Canva. It says create a design. It asks you, what do you wanna create? I'm just looking to do that Facebook news feed, single image. This pulls it up right here, Facebook feed ad. These are already the dimensions that we like or that we need. Uh, and then over here for design, I copy and paste that same thing in here and it pulls up a whole bunch of different potential templates here that you can use as a starting place. So I thought this one looked okay. I'm gonna obviously swap this image out and bring in our wolf image. I'm gonna go back and grab some of that copy from our PPC campaign creator bot. Drop that in here, make it look nice. Give it a little bit of our colors. And there you have something very quick that uh, obviously you can fine tune. You can go back and forth with ChatGPT on any of these steps, especially when you're creating those images, using some creativity, embedding your brand identity into those image prompts. Then you're off to testing and deploying these. You can repeat that process for all of the ads that you see here that you've created in that PPC campaign creator. You can spend a little bit more time fine tuning the prompts that ChatGPT comes up with, asking it to match your brand identity, perhaps blending this with a couple different competitors, especially looking at the ads that they've had running for quite a while. In the cheat sheet, I have uh, a few extra notes here about taking these images and turning them into video because I think you can do a lot with video ads that you can't necessarily do with just a static image ad. So there's a few tools that you can use. CapCut, Descript, and DaVinci Resolve are all free or fairly inexpensive tools that you can use to just take a handful of these different images and turn them into a slideshow type video that will work great for those different reels or other video ads. You can also then get a little level deeper here using uh, these AI tools, Runway ML or Kyber are two fantastic tools for taking these images and giving them just a little bit of motion and some ways of grabbing the eye a little bit more, turning them into little videos. So using a couple of these tools in conjunction with what I've showed you can then uh, morph these images into videos. Also in the cheat sheet, I had a lot of fun with this one, so I found a lot of different resources for creating iconic ad campaigns. So there's a lot of cool links uh, in here. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. I love hearing from you. This video was directly in response to requests from one of my previous videos, so if there's something out there you're looking to learn, please hit me up in the comments and I'd love to see what I can do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Make your dream.